game has wrapped. The Cougars are on the court. Hands off to Foose, bobbles, collects, two, he got it, and the score! Live play-by-play coverage of BYU basketball is brought to you by All Pro Capital, real estate investments. By Big O Tires, stop by your locally owned and operated Big O Tires, the team you trust. Les Olson, IT, your office technology partner. Also by Valhalla Fiduciary, expertise and independence in hedge funds. Brought to you by Delta, the official airline of BYU football. And by Smith's Food and Drug. Get double fuel points and free grocery delivery with a boost by Smith's Rewards membership. It's time to play BYU basketball. Right wing, left corner, Trevin for three. Trevin now knocks it down. On the new skin, BYU Sports Network. BYU and Missouri State just about ready to tip. Time for the starting lineups brought to you by Mountain America, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. The starting five for the visiting Bears. On the guard line, number 15, Matthew Lee, the senior from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Number one, Alton Mason from Overland Park, Kansas. Number 12, Brian Trimble Jr., the senior from Kansas City, Missouri. The forward, number five, Donovan Clay, the only returning starter, the senior from Alton, Illinois. And at the other forward spot, number two, Jonathan Mogbo, a transfer from Northeastern Oklahoma, A&M, averaging 11 points, seven rebounds, and three blocks in one game. Giving you your BYU starters, here's Mark Durant. That's point, Rudy Williams, number three. Two-man is number 220, Spencer Johnson. Your three is number five, Gideon George. Four is number two, Jackson Robinson in the five spot. The big, big fellow, the man in the middle. Number 45, Husini Traore. That's your starting five for the dapper-looking Cougs out there. I like this uniform combination. Yeah, going with the Kalanis tonight. The Navy trimmed in royal. A very clean look. Tip-off is handled by BYU. Rudy Williams brings it into the front court. Picks up the dribble. Finds Jackson Robinson on the cut. And BYU scores first on the dunk from Jackson Robinson. 2-0 BYU. Great look. They tried to jump the wing pass. Jackson went back door. Wide open. Good pass from Rudy. Lee to Clay. And a handoff to Trimble. Down low. Layup is good. And a good pass down low. Finding Mogbo for the lay-in. It's 2-2 early on. Gideon and Foose have to talk. That was a back screen on Foose. And no switch. No talking. Gideon George. On the wing. Picks up the dribble. Cross the court. And now into the corner. A three in the corner. No good from Robinson. Rebound Missouri State and Donovan Clay. Clay gets it to Lee. Lee fakes the three. Drives in the lane. Underhand scoop. No good. Rebound. Fusine Traore. BYU pushing the ball. Rudy Williams has it taken away. Bogbo knocked it out of his hands. Comes up with the turnover. Missouri State looking to push. Now slowing things down. A three. On the wing by Trimble is no good. BYU pushing the tempo. Robinson active early. Out to Gideon George. Fakes the three. Drives in the lane. Pulls up from 10 feet. Rims out. Rebound Missouri State. 2-2 with 18 and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Just underway from Provo. Lee has the ball. Now gets it to Mogbo straight away. Three-point range. On the wing, back to Lee. Matthew Lee's three, too strong, an air ball. And you can hear the crowd chanting air ball. Spencer Johnson drives baseline to Rudy Williams. His three is good. And Rudy Williams gives BYU a 5-2 lead. Cougs up by three, and that is our first Mountain America three-point shot. And with that, that's $50 donated to the American Red Cross, courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union. Great ball movement. That's so you can get open shots if you move the ball. Mogbo straight away. BYU by three at five to two. Lee backs out of the double team into the corner to Moore. And a shot clock violation. Good defense by BYU. One too many passes by the Bears, forcing the turnover. A great offensive possession that was patient. You got an open three and then excellent defense on the other end to force a shot clock violation. That's the, that's the formula if you want for BYU. Well, and we already have an early substitution. Mogbo comes out. Chance Moore, number zero, comes in. Transfer from Arkansas. 
just like Jackson Robinson. He actually leads this team through one game, scored 18 points against Missouri S&T. Speaking of Robinson, has it taken away? Another turnover for BYU. Here comes Mason. Mason backs it out. Pass to Clay. And now to Kendall Moore, the senior from Danville, Illinois. Up to Dawson Carper. And now down to Mason. Baseline, Mason. Drives hard to the rim. Floater is good. And that pulls Missouri State within a point. It's 5-4 BYU, 16.50 to go. Tough shot right over Foose. Had to shoot that really high at soft touch. Robinson gets the ball to Spencer Johnson. Spencer pulls up for three and gets it to go. Spencer Johnson shooting over 60% from three. It's like nothing to him. 8-4 Cougs. Just really looking for his own shot. I love it. Clay. Drives into the paint. Step back, jump shot. Rims out, rebound. Fusina Triari, outlet pass to Williams. Rudy on the move, and he slips. It's going to be called for a travel. Was trying to go for the juke, and, and I don't know if he hit a wet spot on the floor, but he, he sort of tripped and called for the travel, and it's another turnover for BYU. Yeah, the turnover bug still biting. Rudy's problem almost is he's too fast. I mean, just... You I wish I had down. that problem, you Mark. Slow down a little bit. It's like watching the flash out there playing. <laughs> I mean, just, take, just take your time. Three turnovers for BYU so far in this game. Mason dribbles left to right. Now passes out to Chance Moore. Fakes the three into the corner to Kendall Moore. Moore, give and go to Carper. Nice. And he gets it to go. Dawson Carper with a lay-in. Good give and go, and it's 8-6 BYU. BYU by two. Gideon George has the ball. Picks up the dribble. Finds Robinson. Robinson back to Gideon on the wing left. Gideon drives baseline. Passes out of the triple team to Rudy Williams. Rudy's push, no call. Gets it to Johnson. Four seconds on the shot clock. Spencer Johnson, pull up, jump shot. And he drains it. 10-6 10-6 BYU. Spencer Johnson, two for two. Great play late. Comes off a high screen. Open jumper. Mason in the lane. His floater is good. 10-8 BYU. And right now, Missouri State's getting into the lane at ease. Now one good thing is, though, it's a high-paced game that favors BYU. Rudy Williams going strong into the paint. And he's going to be called for the charge. Dawson Carper, the senior from Colorado Springs, takes the charge. And with 14.58, we will take our first timeout. BYU with a two-point lead here in Provo. It's 10-8 Cougars on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Back to Jason Shepard and Mark Durant for more BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Bam Bam's Barbecue brings you authentic Central Texas barbecue. Try our tender brisket or mouth-watering pulled pork. Bam Bam's Barbecue is located just north of BYU's campus. Bam Bam's Barbecue, a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. 14.58 to go here in the first half. 10-8 BYU. Both teams shooting well from the field. Cougars at 67%. Missouri State at 50%. Cougars 2 for 3 from 3 Missouri State 0 for 2 but again early turnovers for BYU 4 for the Cougars have led to 4 points for the Bears Yeah, and 3 of those are Rudy Williams I mean at some point you, you I don't know how you address that but that's part of a coaching problem as well I mean you should be watching film you should really be a focus in practice he's completely on 2 drives been completely out of control you just can't have that Dallin Hall in the game I love having Rudy on the floor but you just can't have 3 turnovers in 5 minutes to start a game Missouri State basketball. Alton Mason brings it across court to Chance Moore. And now back to Jonathan Mogbo, who's checked back into the game. Down low on the block to Rignall. A three from the wing is no good. Rebound to BYU. Dallin Hall is checked into the game for the Cougars. Spencer Johnson has it to Foos. Hands off to Jackson Robinson. He'll pull up. His jump shot from the baseline is short. Rebound to Mogbo, and he is on the move, going strong to the rim. He can't get it to go, but the follow-up is good, and we're all tied up at 10 apiece. And Gideon George slow to get up. 
he looks to be fine, but we are all tied up 10 10. A poor transition defense. Got the missed shot. You got to get all five guys back. Close, a little slow getting down the floor. Mogbo able to put back that initial good defense. Johnson passes to Hall in the front court. Allen, the freshman, dribbles out of pressure. Now straight away. Dowlin drives into the lane. Down low to Foos. Foos right underneath the basket and he loses it. Another turnover for BYU. That's five turnovers for the Cougars. 10-10 is our score. Mason to Mogbo and he's going to be called for a travel move before he put the ball down. And that is the second turnover for Missouri State. And it will be BYU possession with 13.45 to go. Time Foose turns it over. Gets a good feed from Dallin. He's in a great position, but you got to get that ball. Both hands under your chin. You can't bring it down. Guys can swipe at it. Hall crosses midcourt. Looking to pass to Johnson. Almost another turnover. Spencer gets the ball ultimately. Mogbo knocks the ball out of Traore's hand. Jackson Robinson is there. Active hands for the Bears. Spencer Johnson. Back to Robinson on the wing. Robinson. Picks up the dribble. Back to Spencer Johnson. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Looking to pass to Traore. Taken away. Another turnover. And a lay-in is good by Damian Mayo Jr. And Missouri State gets its first lead. It's 12-10 Bears. Missouri State is subbing in a lot of players. They have played about 12 or 13 players already. Yeah, and it's, it's a little blood in the water type situation now because they obviously on their scout they saw BYU is vulnerable to turning the ball over. They've really turned up the defense to, to make it uh, you know, cause as much havoc as possible and BYU playing right into that. Traore, Robinson, and Johnson checking out for BYU. Waterman, Trey Stewart, and Atiki Ali Atiki in for BYU. It is BYU ball with 13.02 to go. Cougars down two. And we're going to hold up play. And the referee is going to talk with Donovan Clay and Noah Waterman. A little too aggressive, waiting for the inbound pass. Dallin Hall inbounding underneath the basket. Finds Waterman. Catches, shoots from three. And Noah Waterman enters the game and drains a three and puts BYU back on top by a point, 13-12. Missouri State comes right back. Their three, no good by Trimble. Cougars push the ball. Waterman in trouble, picks up the dribble, gets it to Dallin Hall. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 12.40 on the game clock. Hall, across the court to George. Gideon, pump fake. His rebound of his missed shot is no good. He'll be fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line. Good move by Gideon George. Missed the initial attempt, got a rebound, put it back up, and he's fouled. And BYU will shoot its first free throws of the game. In fact, the first free throws for either team. Big difference from the other night at San Diego State. It was a procession to the free throw line, at least for the Aztecs, as Gideon knocks down that free throw. That's almost, you know, that's a that's a big thing, too, to, to not foul uh, and and not give uh, opportunities. Talk a lot about turnovers and how big a deal that is the second free throws. Can, but when you're fouling a lot and getting a team free, bas- free, free shots at the basket, now, that's almost more punishing than a turnover, so you've got to be smart about not committing fouls as well. Richie Saunders checks in for Gideon George, so two freshmen on the court. Lee to N.J. Benson. Hands off to Moore, and Trey Stewart's going to be called for a foul. Playing a little too close. And bumped Kendall Moore for the foul. It's a good aggressive move. He gets the whistle there, but that's a good foul. He's aggressive trying to jump that ball screen. And uh, I was impressed by Trey's defense the other night against the Aztecs. He, I thought he quit himself really well in a tough environment. Carper in for Missouri State. Checking out is N.J. Benson. Ball into Lee. Lee dribbling right to left on the perimeter. Now drives baseline. BYU's defense forces the pass to Donovan Clay straight away. Clay defended by Waterman. Clay drives into the lane. And he'll be called for the foul. And Noel Waterman thought he got the block, but I think they called the body on the foul. 15-12, BYU 12-03 to go here in the first half. And the first free throws for the Bears. 
as Donovan Clay heads to the free throw line. Clay leading this team in rebounds. He's tied with Jonathan Mogbo, each at seven rebounds apiece. Free throw good. And poor Noah, he checked into that Aztec game and had two fouls in about five seconds on his first defensive possession and wasn't able to get into much of a flow in that game. He's already hit a big three here, I think, early in the lane from Matiki, so it's going to be another free throw here and again yeah lane violation on uh, waterman i believe we've seen we've seen several lane uh, uh, tiki i think came in we've seen several lane violations already this year and it's uh, uh, unforgivable almost especially the guy who doesn't really have a hitch in his free throw misses that one anyway so no harm done but that's that's a mistake 15 13 byu with the lead cougars by two under 12 minutes to go hall dribbles straight away pulls up straight away three Rims out, no good, rebound, Missouri State. Moore to Trimble. Trimble gets Waterman to bite on the fake, and a floater baseline is good for Brian Trimble Jr., the senior from Kansas City. 15-15 here in Provo. BYU quick into the offensive attack. On the wing to Hall. Hall drives into the paint, picks up the dribble, finds a cutting Trey Stewart. His layup is no good, but he'll be... Fouled and will go to the free throw line to shoot two when we come back. 11-22 in the first half. BYU 15, Missouri State 15 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here is Ben Bagley with a scoreboard update. One other WCC team in action right now at halftime. St. Mary's has a 35-27 lead on Southern. A big game coming up later tonight is number 11, Texas host number 2, Gonzaga. We'll give you an update of that game at the half. Now back to courtside with Mark Durant and Jason Shepard. Thank you very much, Ben. All Pro Capital. Put your money to work with smart real estate investments. Visit allprocapital.com for more information. All Pro Capital, a proud sponsor of BYU Athletics. 11.22 on the first half clock. BYU and Missouri State all knotted up at 15 apiece. Trey Stewart was fouled before we went to break. So he is at the free throw line. BYU has shot two free throws prior to these. They've made both. First free throw from Trey is good. So the Cougars regain the one-point lead at 16-15. BYU's doing a lot of good things, but Missouri State, as the free throws missed, has taken three more shots and has six points off of turnovers. That's keeping them uh, right with BYU in this one early. Matthew Lee dribbles across midcourt, defended by Stewart. Lee out to the wing, passes out of the triple team, and into the corner. Moore, his three. A little too hard. Rebound to Donovan Clay. Clay tied up for a moment, and he throws Dallin Hall to the ground. Sort of like, get off me. Good job by Dallin to get in there and fight, though, to get that jump ball. It'll be the Bears basketball, but that'll turn the possession arrow. Donovan Clay was surrounded by three Cougars. Dallin Hall able to get his uh, hands around the basketball. And as you mentioned, Missouri State will keep possession. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lee will inbound baseline. Officials having a little discussion here. Um, shot clock issue, I think. Go to 19 on the shot clock. So they're going to take one second off. It went from 20 to 19. Inbound pass to Moore. Chance Moore off the inbound pass. Hits the three, and it's 18-16 Bears. Ran him off two screens. Richie got picked, and uh, no help. Uh, and a travel... Noah was looking to pass and was a little indecisive and took a step. Call for another travel at seven BYU turnovers here in the first half so far. It's hard, hard to watch. It's just sloppy and not, not smart, keeping the Bears in it. Clay to Carper. Carper, big 6'11 guy. Passes to Chance Moore, back to Clay, and now back to Chance Moore. Into the corner to Mason. Back to Carper. Three by Kendall Moore is no good. Rebound, Noah Waterman. Outlet pass to Hall. 10-20 to go in the first half. BYU down to 18-16 Missouri State. Hall uses the screen by Atiki. Thought about the step back three. Thought otherwise. Passes to Atiki, who is straight away. Drives hard into the lane with the right hand. His layup no good. Rebound, put back is good. And we're tied at 18. 
Good aggressive play by Atiki to follow his missed shot and get it to go. Yeah, I like that from Atiki. He had an opening. He took it, went strong, finished. Under 10, tied at 18. Lee, down low to Carper. He's fouled, and his lay-in is good. It was a bit of an alley-oop. Carper 6'11", so he really didn't have to jump very much. And he was pushed in the back, got the layup to go. A chance for a three-point play as Missouri State goes up to 20-18. A poor communication in the early offense, and Atiki lost his man. He's able to slip uh, wide open for the oop, and then puts his hand on his waist. Didn't need to do that. Wasn't going to make the play, defensive play anyway and allows a chance for a three-point play. Carper, the senior from Colorado Springs, 6'11", as I mentioned. Front rims it, and rebound to Mogbo. Back out to Trimble Jr. Fakes the three, now will take it. It's good. 23-18, Missouri State starting to get hot from the perimeter. It's one of the worst things that can happen, a, a missed free throw offensive rebound. They hit a three, that's just, that's just killer. Hall with possession. Dallin, defended by Mayo Jr. Passes to Saunders. They get the ball to Waterman straight away. Waterman trying to go down low to Atiki. Can't do it. Passes to Richie Saunders on the wing. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Richie dribbles into the lane. Passes to the corner. Waterman. Three is good from the corner. Noah Waterman pulls BYU within two at 23-21. And that's another Mountain America Credit Union three-point shot. Big, big shot. Richie set that up very patient. Got in the paint. Found the open shooter. BYU four for six from three. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Down to Mogbo. Back out to Trimble Jr. He'll take a deep three. No good. Rebound. Atiki. Ali Atiki. Saunders will bring it into the front court. Richie dribbles out of pressure. Passes to another freshman, Dallin Hall. Hall. Straight away three. Back iron. Waterman fighting for it, can't get it. Atiki fighting for it, he can't get it. Carper pulls it away, and Missouri State trying to go in transition. Mogbo gets in the lane, spins. His lane is no good. Rebound, Waterman. Richie, and Richie were fighting for it. The crowd's like, no, you're on the same team. And oh, it comes away with a good defense by Trey there. Speaking of Trey, pass into the corner. Saunders from the corner, no good. Rebound to Trey Stewart. Floater in the lane. Too hard. Atiki gets the rebound down low. Back out to Stewart. To Waterman. A wing three. It's good. And Noah Waterman feeling it from deep. 24-23 Cougs. And Noah getting a chance to show what he can do. Heating up. Rudy was going to check in. He'll sit down. Mark Pope is liking what he sees from this group of and no starter on the floor right now. Waterman leads all scores with nine points. He's three of three, all three shots, three pointers. Mogbo loses it momentarily, gets Get it late. into Got the corner to Mayo. One know. second on the shot clock. And a shot clock violation. Good defense by the Cougars. And you can feel that momentum making its way to the Cougar bench. We'll take a break. Our under eight timeout, 7.23 to go in the first half. BYU by one, 24-23 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. We'll call that last big three-point shot from Noah Waterman our money moment of the game, brought to you by All Pro Capital Put your money to work with smart real estate investments with all pro capital. Not only was it Noah's third three, he's three for three. He leads all scorers with nine, and it put BYU back on top after trailing by five. It's Cougs 24, Bears 23 with 7.23 to go. That's a real weapon that you can have in Waterman. Uh, Missouri State has to chase him around the perimeter with the four guy, and he's been getting open threes, a great shooter, so... Now that, that's a real advantage when you have a seven-footer that can step out and shoot the three. Interesting to me, Jason, how, how much Coach Pope has gone this season with kind of the hockey line change. You had five subs in there for five minutes, really, and he's letting them play. Now you've just subbed in a bunch of starters back in except for Richie. So it's interesting that he, he's not kind of mixing them together a little bit more. And, uh, you know, they, they did all right. They're, they got back to lead, so... BYU's five on the floor. Williams, Robinson, Johnson, Saunders, and Atiki. 2-1. Two, two, 
Full court trap out of the timeout. Saunders on the wing, drives baseline, passes to Atiki in the paint, and he kicked it back out onto the wing. Unfortunately, the only person there was sitting in the seats, and it's out of bounds and another turnover. Eight turnovers for the Cougs. Atiki's defense, the guy in the seats was wide open. Look, I have a feeling he could have made it. <laughs> Atiki got it just where Richie, nice little bounce pass. Just go up with that jump hook. Don't complicate it. Just do what you can do. He had a great opportunity for a little jump hook. Seven minutes to go. BYU by one. Missouri State ball. Mason has it. Mason from Overland Park, Kansas. Step back three is no good. And Chance Moore comes away with it for the Bears, and he puts it back in. There were two Cougars there, but Moore came away with a good hustle play by the Bears, and they regained the lead at 25-24. Traore and George set to check in. The next stoppage of play. And Donovan Clay will be called for a foul on Richie Saunders. And Foose and Gideon George will check in. Atiki, Ali Atiki, and Richie Saunders will take a seat. 6.36 to go here in the first half. BYU down one at 25-24. BYU basketball. George will inbound. Gets it into Rudy Williams. Rudy? Dribbling left to right. Williams intending to pass to Gideon George in the corner. Knocked out of play by Donovan Clay. Good heads-up defense by Clay. It will remain BYU basketball with 12 seconds on the shot clock. George inbounds to Robinson. Robinson uses the screen by Foos. Robinson straight away. Pass to Rudy Williams. Five seconds on the shot clock. Cougars got to get a shot up. Williams drives strong into the corner. A three from Robinson. Bounces around and in. It hit the rim, hit the backboard, and fell through 27-25 Cougs. Shooter's touch. That'll help Jackson's confidence to get one like that to go. Ridgenal picks up the dribble straight away. Hands off to Chance Moore, the sophomore from Brookhaven, Georgia. Back to Ridgenal. Ridgenal to Clay. Clay defended by Robinson. Clay to Ridgenal. Fakes the three. Moves down. Takes another three. Long. Rebound BYU and Gideon George. Outlet pass to Williams. Nearing five and a half minutes to go. Cougars by two. 27-25. George with possession. Gideon. Strong move into the paint. Now backing his way down. Jump hook with the right hand. Bounces around and falls. BYU up four. 29-25. Ah, that's a great play. That's that's Gideon's wheelhouse. And if they're not going to come with help, they were going one-on-one with him. Keep going to that well. Mason slows down the tempo a little bit, crossing midcourt. Alton Mason, transfer from Oklahoma. Passes to Chance Moore. He wastes no time taking a three, and he drains it like it's nothing. 29-28, BYU with a one-point lead. Timeout on the floor. A quick 30-second timeout, so we will keep it here. BYU shooting 50% from the field. Missouri State not far behind at 48, where BYU is really causing some problems for the Bears. They're 6 for 10, so shooting 60% from the perimeter. BYU's kind of slowed the turnover train a little bit here for them been much better lately but Missouri State I expected more turnovers that BYU creates with Missouri State. Missouri State runs a lot of ball screens and screens BYU's having a tough time getting through them and Missouri State really is getting what they want on the floor which uh, surprises me a little bit because BYU so far this year has been very aggressive done a nice job defensively creating turnovers and just not so much tonight. BYU basketball with 5-0-1 to go in the first half Robinson will inbound. Full court pressure shown by the Bears. Robinson gets the ball to Rudy Williams. Williams to Johnson across the court. And now crosses into the front court. Spencer Johnson dribbles out of pressure. Down low to Gideon to Foose. Hand off to Gideon George on the baseline. He dribbles baseline and into the corner. And now he's stuck. 11 seconds on the shot clock. And the ball will be off of BYU. George tried to knock it off of the defender Mogbo. And I think it ricocheted off of Mogbo and hit George before it went out of bounds. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. It looked like it was knocked away from by Missouri State. But, man, Gideon had it right under the hoop and doesn't shoot it. He dribbles out of that into the corner where he gets trapped. 
BYU by one. Four and a half minutes to go. Lee has it for the Bears. Picks up the dribble. Back to Moore. Chance Moore. He's been a problem. And he drives hard to the rim. His layup is no good. A foul before. The foul will be called on Spencer Johnson. He's going to be on the shot, too, so he'll get two free throws here. That's BYU's fifth team foul, but as Mark mentioned, Chance Moore will have two free throws. 6'6", 205-pound sophomore from Brookhaven, Georgia. Scored 18 in the win over Missouri S&T and had six rebounds. Uh, he's having a nice game. Eight points in this one, three for five. And his free throw was good. So nine points for Chance Moore. That is tied for the game lead with no Waterman. Second free throw from Moore. Up and good. Ten for Chance Moore. And Missouri State back in the lead by a point at 30-29 to with 4.21 to go. BYU basketball. Robinson inbounds to Williams. Rudy. Pass to Johnson and now back to Rudy. Full court pressure shown by Kendall Moore and the Bears. Williams drives into the lane, picks up the dribble. And a foul is going to be called on number three, Kendall Moore. That is team foul number five on Missouri State. So the ball will stay with the Cougars. 20 seconds on the shot clock, 4.07. The first half game clock. Johnson inbounds to Jackson Robinson to Williams. Williams, step back, does not take the shot, passes to Johnson. Johnson, straightaway three is no good. Rebound to Missouri State. Moore has it. Looking to take it himself. Passes on the wing to Matthew Lee. Lee drives around Johnson, stops, pops, and hits the jump shot. 32-29, Missouri State by three. Robinson brings it into the front court. Pass to Gideon George. George down low to Fusine Chirori. He's had a quiet first half. Fus down low. Left hand no good. Rebound Gideon George. Looked like he was fouled from behind. No call. Missouri State coming down the court with a three-point lead. Looking to increase it. 32-29 Bears. To Carper. Carper straight away. The big 6'11 big man. To Moore, Chance Moore. His three from the wing, no good. Front rims it, rebound to Spencer Johnson. Johnson Johnson. passes to Jackson Robinson. Back to Johnson. Johnson fakes the three, drives strong to the lane, has it blocked by Mogbo, and he'll be fouled on his attempt to lay it in over the big man. So at 2.51, we will take a break. When we come back, Spencer Johnson will shoot two free throws. BYU trailing by three. It's 32-29 Missouri State on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Okay, that's good. Whoa, whoa, Dave! Sorry, I'll go grab some paper towels. You can't let Dave pour things. He works at JCW's. They fill stuff up past the brim over there, like their milkshakes. They're thick, rich, and oh my gosh. Delicious? Oh no. Dave's filling up Crystal's car for her. Dave, stop! Hey, this is Clark for JCW. Stop into any of our five locations today. We're located in American Fork, Thanksgiving Point, Provo, South Jordan, and our new location in Harriman. Come in and see why at JCW we believe in quality and a lot of it. <laughs> This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. At Dexter Law, we've helped thousands of Utahns who've been injured in car accidents. Insurance companies have attorneys fighting for them. You should, too. In fact, an IRC study found those represented by an attorney receive 3.7 times more money than those without an attorney. If you've been injured through no fault of your own, allow us to shoulder your burden and help you be fairly compensated. For a free consultation, visit DexterLaw.com and call or text us today. You're the star defensive player. You know all about your opponent's strategy. You're able to quickly analyze and react to get an edge that no other player can match. 
That's how Endpoint Protection with Deep Learning works. Leveraging the number one rated malware detection engine, the Les Olson Security Suite offers unmatched defenses for your business's network, including exploit prevention, active adversary mitigation, and root cause analysis. Protect your business with the Les Olson Security Suite from Les Olson IT. Learn more at lesolson.com. Let's get you back to the Built Bar courtside seats. Here, once again, is Jason Shepard. This game is brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah families for over 30 years. Learn more at SiegfriedandJensen.com. BYU down three. Missouri State with a 32-29 lead. 2.51 to go here in the first half. BYU an opportunity here from the free throw line to cut into that three-point advantage. Spencer Johnson fouled before we went to break. So... Spencer has five points, two of three from the field, one of two from three. He's also got two rebounds. And he'll go to the charity stripe for two. BYU three for four so far from the free throw line tonight. First free throw is up and good. Make that four for five. And BYU within two at 32-30. Spencer, another solid game. Chance to get to seven points here. Just one miss on the night. It really hasn't, offense hasn't been the problem as the free throws missed from Spencer. What a steal on the rebound. Spencer Johnson following up his own miss. He's like, I don't want one, I want two. 32 32, we're all tied up. He had that planned all along. (laughs) Wanted the three. Just like he drew it up. 32 32, two and a half minutes to go. Lee into the corner to Moore. Back to Lee, and good defense by Rudy Williams knocks it off of Lee's leg. And a turnover for the Bears. That is their fourth turnover. And it's BYU basketball looking to regain the lead with 2.31 to go in the first half. BYU went to a 1-3-1 zone there, took the Bears off guard and able to get the turnover out of it. Robinson dribbles left to right. Thought about the three. Back to George. He fakes the three on the wing. Now steps back. 18-footer is good. (laughs) Gideon George. A pretty jump shot. And it's 34-32 BYU. That's a next level shot. That's a big, hard, difficult shot. Those are the shots that the NBA scouts like. And back to that zone, see if they can get another turnover. It's been tough for them to get those tonight. Lee. Pass into the paint to Mogbo. His shot, no good. Mogbo fights for his rebound, gets it. Put back, no good. Vicente <laughs> Traore is there. And that was a mad scramble for the ball. And BYU comes away with oh, it. Nice move. Robinson. Fakes out the defender, and he loses the ball. He was able to get to it. Unfortunately, he kind of bobbled it. The ball actually bounced up, hit him in the face, and hit the uh, out-of-bounds spot. So BYU loses the ball, and uh, Jackson Robinson uh, just got hit in the face with the basketball. Yeah, that's an insult to injury thing. It started so well. He had a <laughs> crossover on the perimeter, just left his man in the dust, and uh, fumbled it away, fell, and knocked it off his own face out of bounds. Alton Mason brings it into the front court for the Bears. Defended by Williams. Mason to Moore. Moore straight away. Thought about the three. Back to Mason. Mason uses the screen from Clay into the corner. Now drives strong into the lane. Picks up the dribble. Back to Moore. Eight seconds on the shot clock. His three is blocked by Gideon George. Down court to George. George spins in the lane. Puts it up. He's fouled. He'll get two. And BYU leading by two can extend their lead to four at the free throw line with 1-11 here in the first half. More energy and things happening on the defensive end here in the last couple minutes. I, I mentioned the, the switching up the defense. I think it took uh, Missouri State out of what they want to do as the free throw hits about every part of the rim and backboard and then falls out for Gideon George. BYU Athletics would like to recognize Jersey Mike's for being tonight's game sponsor. We thank them for being an important part of our team. Jersey Mike's, a sub above. Second free throw also rims out. Fusini Traore with the rebound and the putback. That's twice at the free throw line where BYU's been able to get a miss and put it in for the layup. 36-32 BYU. Sticking with that kind of 1-3-1 here. Trapping in the corners when they can. Donovan Clay, across the court and now into the corner. Mason, three from the corner, no good. And rebound to Mason. Can he keep it in bounds? He can. Saves it to Moore. Chance Moore back to Clay. 
into the far corner, and now to Lee. Lots of ball movement by Missouri State. Ten seconds on the shot clock, 30 seconds on the game clock. Lee, straight away, three, and he banks it in. So bad, and it goes so bad. 36-35, BYU by one. Cougs hold for the final shot of the half. 20 seconds to go. Williams calling out the signals. Nearing 10 seconds to go. Williams uses the screen by Fusene Traore. Williams drives baseline. Back out to Spencer Johnson. Step back three from Johnson. Hits the front of the rim. Rebound chance more. One second. A heave by Moore is no good. And we've reached halftime in Provo. BYU 36, Missouri State 35. Our first half recap when we come back. Cougs by one on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.